ready we are because this is Championship Bridge. My name is Alex Dreyer, and as you know, we take two pairs of bridge experts. They play against each other, and this is Rubber Bridge for cash awards under the official rules of Contract Bridge. And now over here is the man whose fascinating articles appear weekly in Sports Illustrated magazine, articles about the great people in the wonderful world of bridge, my confidant and my colleague, Charles Gorin. And from Chicago, Illinois, Mandel Kaplan, Manny, a vice president of the Kitchens of Sara Lee, endeavoring to extend an amazing number of consecutive wins on this program. His partner also from Chicago, Arthur Glatt. Art became a life master in 1942 and holds the unusual distinction of having been second in national tournaments six times, challenging our current champions, first a man well-versed in the art of competition, a great amateur golfer, Tim Holland from New York City. His secret for golf and bridge, Concentration. Our second challenger from New York City, Robert A. McFerrin, is a truly great bridge player. He has won the Vanderbilt Cup twice and also has the coveted Life Master individual title to his credit. Oh. Arthur, it's nice to have you back on the show again and again. Thank you, Charlie. too. Nice. nice to be here again, Charlie. And Bobby, it's really good to see you on the show. I remember correctly we met first some 26 years ago, though your youthful appearance would belie it. Uh, do you remember those days? Oh, and how? And I like to return to those good old days. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy, it's very nice to have you with us. Well, it's nice to be here, Charlie. And I'd like you to know that I've been following your career on the golf course, both in this country and abroad, and I noticed that you fared rather well recently in tournaments in both the British amateur and the French amateur. During that time, did you get time to play any bridge at all? Well, I played uh, about twice in London and enjoyed it very much. It's very similar to here. They all use the barn system and use it well. Well, I should <coughs> stop on this note while I'm ahead. Well, you could never get <laughs> anywhere but farther ahead. <laughs> well, we'll be ready to start in just a minute. So I want to wish you all the best of luck. Thank right, you, thanks, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Ground rules for championship bridge. We play rubber bridge, providing $1,000 to the pair, scoring the greatest number of points over the half hour period, $500 to the losers. Bonus money for slams bid and made. The winners come back next week, face a new set of challengers. And now that action is about to get underway, let's see what happens, huh? Bob McFerrin and Tim Holland crossing swords with reigning monarchs Kaplan and Glatt. I'll deal us a few good ones, Tim. Yeah, I'll try to deal the other way. <laughs> anyway, I hope so. Tim Holland, a top amateur golfer and a top flight bridge player, is the dealer. Well, he's got four points in spades, seven in diamonds, one for that jack of clubs, seven points for the ace, king of hearts. Hey, a healthy 19 points, Charlie. He has a natural bit of one heart. <laughs> the four-card major suits are not the frightening monsters some players would have us believe. And that was the dealer? All right. I shall bid one heart. Well, Holland isn't afraid of four-card major suits. Now here's Art Glad of Chicago, a finer player as there is in the Midwest. Well, aside from a bit of royalty in the spade suit, the king and queen, he has nothing. I pass. Bob McFerrin, a national champion back as far as 1934. His partner has opened the bidding with one heart. Three hearts here, Charlie? Well, besides his 12 high card points, he has three points for the singleton spade. Remember in dummy, a singleton is valued at three points instead of two. Uh -huh. One point for the doubleton diamond, and a point for promotion of his honors and partner's heart suit. That counts, I believe, to 17 points. Three clubs. A jump shift? It's fractionally short of the usual 18-point minimum required for a jump shift. But with this splendid heart support, the bid is justified, it seems to me. Now here's Manny Kaplan. His partner has passed, and so will Manny. He won't miss anything with his hand. Pass. Now Tim Holland, he opened a heart and partner jump shifted with three clubs. Wow. And Tim is holding 19 points of his own, Charlie. 19 plus an expectant 18 points from partner. That's 37. The Grand Slam Zone. Mm -hmm. Three diamonds. I approve, Alex. Remember, the partnership has not found its fit in the heart suit as yet. Mm-hmm. Pass. Now Bob McFerrin, partner has bid hearts and diamonds. Bob jump shifting in clubs. Bob can now vigorously show that his jump shift in clubs was based on his satisfaction with partner's heart suit. Four hearts. That's vigorous. He jumped to four. Manny. Pass. Golfer Tim Holland, he's bid hearts and diamonds. Four spades. 
He's showing the ace, of course. Mm-hmm. Art Glatt, he'll pass. Double. Wow! <laughs> He's trying to throw up a roadblock in hopes of deterring a slam bid, Alex. All right, let's see if he succeeds. Here's Bob McFerrin. Four out count. That's Blackwood, of course, asking for aces. Manny Kaplan. I pass. Got to think a second, gentlemen. Uh, Tim Holland now, partner has asked for aces. Let's see, clubs none, diamonds one, hearts two, spades three. Five spades. Now glad his double won't deter this slam. Pass. Now McFerrin, he'll request kings next. Five no count. So he does, wow, will they get the seven? Let's see. Pass. Tim Holland, how many kings have you? Six diamonds. That means one. Pass. Bob McFerrin, partner has shown three aces and one king. Not enough for Grand Slam. Six hearts. But he's not shy about the small slam. I pass. No bid. I pass. Charlie? Well, Tim Holland opened the bidding with one heart. With 19 high card points, the hand was, of course, too strong for an opening bid of one note rump. McFerrin, having a very powerful hand in support of hearts, decided to make an immediate slam announcement in the form of a jump shift to three clubs. Now, Holland wisely decided to temporize with three diamonds. Although this bid makes no definite commitment, it is preparatory to a slam effort. McFerrin then jumped to four hearts, and Holland quite properly bid four spades, which is a cue bid, showing the ace. Glatt decided to join the party by doubling. McFerrin barged into a Blackwood bid and found Holland with three aces, but only one king. So he was content with six hearts, a reasonable stopping place. All right, Tim Holland preparing to guide the destinies of the slam contract in six hearts. Art Glatt's on the opening lead. My lead. Mm -hmm. Right. Contract is six hearts. This is Glatt's hand. He chooses the king of spades. Bob McFerrin spreads his dummy hand, and you know the lay down of the dummy hand always provides an exciting moment. And Tim Holland studies it as he does the lie of a golf ball in the putting green. I must say it's not exactly a bad hand. Somewhat formidable, I'd say. Tim now plays dummy singled and deuce of spades. Manny Kaplan follows. Tim smothers it with his ace for his first trick, and this is a six-art contract. What will Tim's strategy be? Well, he now attacks the trump suit, cashing his ace. And you know there are only four small trumps out against Holland, and even if they were all in one hand, it won't bother Tim. Glad and Kaplan both cooperate here. Tim Holland now continues with the King of Trumps. Say, Charlie, will he make seven here? The play for seven will depend on the location of the King of Clubs, Alex. Well, not much play to this hand, gentlemen. I'll take the club finesse if it's right for seven. If it's wrong, I make six. Well, I can save the pieces, Arthur. I have yeah. the King of Clubs. I'm afraid you're right, Tim. We have to pay off at six and making six hearts, Tim Holland and Bob McFerrin score 180 below per game, plus 500 above for slam bonus, and they rock it off to a fast lead as we go on a hand two of Championship Bridge. Hey, well, after lucky, that huh? slam, we'll have to get to work here, Manny, yeah. if we're going to make a contest out of this thing. All we got to do is hold the fort now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got it cut out we, for us. We captured it, now we got to hold it. Holland and McFerrin are vulnerable, and Arthur Glad is the dealer. Let's get a glimpse of Art Sand now and see what he's holding. Art's about through sorting. All right, Arthur. He has 11 high card points, one for that double and spade. That's 12. Is this a borderline opening hand, Charlie, with that five card diamond suit? Hmm? If he feels inclined to get in an early punch, I wouldn't be shocked if he opened the bidding, Alex. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't recommend doing so. Pass. All right, the seasoned pro, Bob McFerrin, highly respected in top flight bridge circles. By the way, Bob was a professional baseball player in his youth. He was a pitcher. Well, he's behind the batter with his hand. Pass. Manny Kaplan of Chicago, his partner has passed. Say, Manny can certainly make a big six beautiful spades. Let's see here, eight, 12, 14 high card points, plus three for the void and diamonds, that's 17. One spade. Quite proper, of course. 
Now let's see what Tim Holland has. All right. His partner has passed. One quick look is enough. <laughs> Pass. Now Arthur Glad, who dealt and passed, his partner has opened the bidding with one spade. Glad has a choice here. He might bid two no Trump, although I would prefer two diamonds. Two no Trump. Well, two no Trump it is. Now Bob McFerrin. Pass. Over to Manny Kaplan, he opened with a spade and partner after passing responded to no trump. Should he repeat his spades or possibly show his four card heart suit, Charlie? With an almost solid six card spade suit and a weak four card heart suit, the preference should surely be given to the spade suit on this round. Three spades. And so he does. No bid. Now glad his partner has bid and rebid spades. Without a real heart stopper, Glatt may be wary of persisting in no trump now. Three no trump. Well, he pushed on the three no trump anyway. Here's Bob McFerrin. Pass. Now Manny Kaplan, who has twice bid spades. Void in diamonds, he's not happy with no trump, huh, Charlie? Quite right, Alex. And remember, Glatt, by his earlier two no trump bid, promises at least two spades for Kaplan. Mm-hmm. Four spades. All roads on this hand lead to Rome. I pass. Pass. I pass. Charlie? Mr. Glatt decided to pass. McFerrin passed and Kaplan opened the bidding naturally with one spade. Now Glatt, holding 12 points which he had previously concealed, decided to make a jump bid by calling two no trump. My own preference might have been mildly in favor of a two diamond response for I feel the new Trump response can be held in abeyance. When Kaplan rebid three spades, the situation became somewhat more difficult, but Glatt persisted with three no Trump, and Kaplan overrode him with four spades in an effort to cash the hundred honors. And I think Mr. Kaplan's choice is quite sound. All right, Manny Kaplan to the Clara here in quest of four spades, and Tim Holland will make the opening lead. This is his hand. He elects the juice of diamonds. Art Glatt now comes down with the dummy. Declara Kaplan is void in diamonds. Will he nevertheless risk the finesse and dummy for the king? Let's see. Yes, he decides on dummy's queen. And it fails, there's McFerrin's king. Kaplan roughs with a small spade and he has the first trick. Manny now lays down his ace of trumps. He's missing five to the queen. Shouldn't he have returned to dummy and finesse for the queen, Charlie? Normally, he would finesse, Alex. But dummy's only entry card is the ace of clubs. Mm -hmm. And Kaplan would be wise not to spend the club ace at this early stage of play. All right, Manny sees it your way. Lays down his king of trumps, Charlie. Will he beat the odds? No queen from Tim Holland. McFerrin, no queen from him, so the good queen of trumps is an assured trick for the defense. This is four spades, remember. Manny Kaplan now concedes the trump trick now playing as nine. Holland has the lady in question. Kaplan has some handling to do in the club and heart suits, Alex. Uh-huh. Tim Holland exits with the diamond. He's going to make Kaplan guess the clubs and hearts for himself, huh? There's dummy's ace. McFerrin follows, and Kaplan discards the club. Manny can afford only two more losers. Let's see how he proceeds now. And he leads Dummy's Jack of Hearts. Missing the king and queen, Kaplan will hope for a split of honors here. Well, McFerrin covered with the king, and Manny smothered it with his ace. So far, so good, Charlie. Manny Kaplan now concedes the queen of hearts, playing low from his hand. Yes, Alex, if the heart suit breaks 3-3, Manny's fourth heart, in his hand, will be high. Well, the opponents withheld the queen. They let Dummy's nine hold the trick. The defense has one trick. Now he'll play a heart from Dummy and force the queen, huh? No, he leads a low diamond from Dummy. He'll trump in his hand, of course, and then break the heart suit. Well, trumpet he does. And now he'll break that heart suit. Charlie, he didn't play the heart. He let his last trump. What? Alex, he's in trouble now. He's lost control of the hand. Now he'll lose a club, a heart, and a diamond. 
Well, diagram that play for us after the hand, will you, Charlie? Now Manny leads his queen of clubs. Will he finesse for the king? It fails. McFerrin takes the second trick for the defense with his king. McFerrin, the eight of hearts. Kaplan covers with the ten. Holland's queen is high. Defense can now claim the setting diamond trick. Well, I better take this one. I guess you... you know, Art, I didn't think that heart suit would break out. I'm sorry. All right. Don't worry about it. Try to get him on the next one. I hope so. Make up for it. I don't say that now. <laughs> at least you had a hundred dollars. Yes, that's right. A hundred dollars, Art. What happened to Kaplan at trick nine, Charlie? At trick nine, Kaplan, with all trumps drawn, held the ten and seven of hearts. Dummy had remaining the singleton three. Holland held the lone queen and McFerrin the singleton eight. At this point, rather than break the heart suit by conceding the high queen of hearts and thus establishing the ten in his hand, Kaplan played his last remaining trump. By doing so, he lost control of the hand and the defense with one trick already in had no difficulty in winning a club, a heart, and a diamond for down one. So the penalty suffered by Kaplan and Glad for a one-trick set is 50 points, and they have small consolation with their 100 honors. They need a big one to get back into competition. I'm as lucky a dealer as you, Tim. Yeah. Well, we've got our backs to the wall, Arthur. Yeah. I'll try to make up for that last Now one. or never. You know, Charlie, the anticipation of seeing the cards of each new deal in a bridge game, I think, is endlessly fascinating. I can never wait to see my hand. Well, Bob McFerrin is the dealer. And Bob's anticipation of a good hand here is now shattered, but there's always tomorrow. I pass. Over to Manny Kaplan. And no opening bid here to help Manny get back in competition. I pass. Now Tim Holland, his partner, has passed. Let's see here, three for the King of Spades, three points in diamonds, six in clubs, two for the Singleton Heart. That's 14 points. He'll open, Charlie. <laughs> I'm in complete accord with your resume. Pass. That is a surprising pass. Well, he rates a bogey on that one, Charlie. All right, it's been passed around to the steady and astute Arthur Glatt. Here's the values of an opening bid. By the way, Charlie, how do you value the Singleton King of Clubs here? Hmm? The unguarded king is reduced in value from three points to two points. One diamond. No question about that one. Now Bob McFerrin. I pass. Manny Kaplan, his partner, opened the bidding in fourth position with a diamond. Manny will show his six-card suit, of course. One heart. Tim Holland. No bid. Over to Arthur Glatt, partner responded with one heart in reply to his opening diamond bid. And Glatt will show his four-card major suit now, huh, Charlie? That's right, Alex. And even if Glatt had a lesser hand, it would be mandatory to show a reasonably good four-card major suit in preference to rebidding a five-card minor suit. Uh-huh. One spade. Bob McFerrin in that nothing hand of his. Pass. Manny Kaplan now, partner is bid diamonds and spades. Two hearts. Tim Holland. No bid. Now Arthur Glatt, partner has twice bid hearts. I think Art Glatt should square his shoulders now and settle the issue at a game contract. Four hearts. And so he does. Pass. I pass. No bid. Well, they bid game, Charlie, so review that for us, will you? Very well. After two passes, Holland surprised us by passing in third position. In fourth position, Glatt naturally opened with a diamond, and Kaplan responded with a heart. Glatt, of course, bid a spade, and Kaplan rebid two hearts. Glatt raised directly to game, a bid which is certainly justified by his holding. The play should prove interesting. Let's watch it. Tim Holland sweating out his opening lead against four hearts. And let's look at his hand here. Well, he cashes his ace of clubs. And now Arthur Glatt offers up his dummy. And let's kibitz the hand over the shoulder of Declara Manny Kaplan. He must play dummy singleton king, of course. Manny looking at this dummy thoroughly. 
There's the king. McFerrin follows with the deuce. And Kaplan releases one of his three clubs. All right, defense has the first trick. Can they find three more to set the four heart contract? Holland returns a low spade. With the singleton jack in his hand, will Kaplan finesse for the king and dummy? Yes, and it succeeds. McFerrin does not have the king. Manny steals his first trick with his singleton jack. This is four hearts. Will Manny draw trumps? No, he wants to trump a club in dummy. And so he does. Manny is on lead in dummy now. What will he do next? Will he lead a trump and finesse for the king? No. And Manny Kaplan now lays down dummy's ace of spades. McFerrin plays low. And Kaplan discards the losing diamond. Kaplan still has some problems to solve. Uh-huh. Well, let's see if he can do it, Charlie, and bring home this four-heart contract. Manny now returns dummy's queen of spades. The king is still adversely held. Remember, McFerrin doesn't have it. Manny discards another losing diamond, the loser on a loser. Tim Holland captures it with the king. Defense must find two more tricks to set Manny Kaplan. Tim Holland exits with a spade. Dummy's nine is played, and McFerrin contests it with the ten. Manny trumps it with a small heart. Manny now lays down his remaining club. He'll rough this club and dummy, Alex, and then finesse for the king of trumps. All right, that's five tricks home toward four hearts. One more thing to do. And Manny calls for the trump from Dummy. Four to the king outstanding. He finesses for the king with his knife. Do you have it, Tim? No, and it wins. Well, it's peaking. <laughs> Kaplan now cashes the ace of hearts, trumps. Will the king fall? No. I guess the king of hearts makes a diamond for the ace. Who came eight for? Yeah, that's right. Congratulations. Well, congratulations. Very 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 you shot a 66, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and the opponent shot a 67. That's yeah. the important thing. Nice <laughs> going, partner. A play of interest occurred at trick number two when Holland led a low spade. Kaplan, with a singleton jack in his hand, wisely played low from dummy and successfully finessed for the king. Even if the finesse lost, Dummy's ace and queen of spades would still afford him two diamond discards to take care of a possible adverse location of the king and queen of diamonds. If a trick two, however, Kaplan had declined the spade finesse and played Dummy's ace, then only a happy split of the king and queen of diamonds could have salvaged the four heart contract. the North Glad score 120 below for their successful four heart effort. It's not enough. Their total of 220 is overpowered by the 730 of Tim Holland and Bob McFerrin. They are our winning champions and will receive $1,000 plus $250 for slam bid and made on the first hand. And now this is Alex Dreyer and Charles Gorin saying aces to all of you from Championship Bridge. Samsonite, official championship bridge furniture provided by Schwader Brothers. Bicycle playing cards, the official playing cards of championship bridge. And we wish to thank the U.S. Playing Card Company for helping us to produce championship bridge.